Ooh, got two creeps to be able to pull this from. Down block, Faith Beyond. There's that meta with the tag team. Genuel going to try and continue to chase down Faith Beyond, but Genuel's falling pretty low here, so they be careful who's going to pick up the kill. It will be Debil. Now with the snowball picked up, he's got that extra ability now to utilize thanks to the kill, giving him the experience. Tango regen oh, ticking boss. through. Nice body block from Debil. That actually might net him another kill, and it does. Very fire, right click, not enough. Illusion. Genuel. Oh, oh, reflection to Bill. That's a massive play from the Terror Blade. Not yet level with uh, Arme on the top side. He's still got a 300 net worth feed. Oh, the Bill might just feed away a bit of a kill here, though. You know what's going on here with some of these ancient stacks, some of these hard camp stacks? It's just the hard camp for now, though. Oh, you know, it's here, though. It might be in trouble. Oh, that disarm. It's always going to help out, so why would not be able to man fight? And. An incredible hero, and we've seen Neon in particular put a lot of emphasis on mid lane. Nice kill. To get the uh, Earth Spike off before the jaunt away. Pretty juicy little stack here that they've got up on the top side. He's going to have to make sure that he's not scouted out too early on. So the smoke's coming up from Neon. It's going to get popped by Jing Q though. Great positioning from him. Yeah, I, I love the movement from Neon, but at, at least you know, they get a kill. Unfortunately, it's a support. They wanted a little bit better. Dyer's top TV's top putting a little bit of pressure onto this top side. They know there's no Dream Coil, but as of course with any Terra Blade, I mean, oh, mid -lane. the main issue. It's a lot of damage. Nice Ekrasom from Y. And Shinkyu has that ultimate to be able to play around with, but the Finger of Death, the ultimate's also going to come out from play hard. At least they'll use it to drop some deep Observer Wards, where they're going to look to utilize this in the next couple of minutes to find out where the Troll Wall is positioning. But have they gone too deep? The rotations are starting to come through. The finger of death, they're going to be able to bring down the Elder Titan. Rap is still able to charge up the ultimate as well. Bouncing back, but he only gets the one stun on Shin Q. And now Rap is going to be pretty careful here, because nothing to say. Still got the orb, still got the waning rift as well to be able to close the distance, but we'll do neither. They're going to walk up the high ground. Coil on one, right by the bounty timing. But Stabil is in a pretty good spot to be able to contest this. Nothing to say. He doesn't have the abilities to utilize to get on the low ground. Now play hard with the first stun. Sets up for the secondary one. That's the way they can cut them down as the puck. Very reliant on making sure he doesn't get stunned up once. And now Shin Q could be in trouble as well. They've got the AOA stun. So there is no way he's going to be able to TP out with the protection of the Shadow Realm. Even Yopage flying on through. Yours easy setup. They even got the Medallion of Courage there on Innocence, so he's going to help take it down really quickly. Beast Boss doesn't even need to hit, and they're going to play here onto the They're fine, Rappi. Yeah. The whole on the high ground here, just with the vision advantage, Rappi unable to get the Rolling Thunder out fast enough. Or even the Orb of Corrosion, which we see do a pretty decent job at just that. Radiant... I mean, you're going to be going into ages here, but Ame's got some backup. They want to jump everyone above the Troll Warlord. And they break down one successfully, no, but it means that Genuel is going to snowball on over. Puck moving over, nothing to say is going to hate, so he can catch more heroes if they don't disengage fast enough. Definitely some... <laughs> Better than not having nothing, that's what I would say. Oh, nothing to stay. It's going to be the Lion. Debil and along with the Genuel are going to be able to keep their life in the tree line. Play hard. Unfortunately, not as successful. So we do see these ages. You know, it accumulates a 10,000 net worth lead. They've also actually caught out Rappi here. So Shin Q needs some extra help with the backup of the team. It enables him to get the Rolling Thunder off. And Rappi? Oh, Blink's back up. He should be okay. Oh, I say that though. Blink's up in a couple seconds here for the puck. And he has the follow up. The misuse of the Rolling Thunder for the Pango is going to cost him. They're going for the long way around, though. So Shin Q... Nah, he gets it. Play hard. Smoke gonna pop. See it as well. See him walking DD's around. gonna get picked up. Or oh, Ame, he bottled that. This is scary with the vision right now. They're gonna blink in. Nothing to save him. Nice counter as well. Dropping, but they get the initial earth spike. And Debil pops the BKB, but somehow the puck's able to stay alive. But Ame, he wants the man fight with his own BKB. He's chasing or hit Debil. Look at him go. Now with the bash, and he pops the battle. Transamantis out, but it will not matter. Troll locked onto a target and secures the kill. They've got the rolling thunder. At least it keeps Rappi alive, but meanwhile, the roar controls up the void spirit. Four will end up losing their life. And double back in. Wow. Ame's already going to disobey it as well. Jump in. Dagon. Bye bye. Tusker. 
evaporated. On uh, oh, yeah. Neon's side, right? Like, you've got a Blink Dagger, you've got to use that to get in, burst people down. It's not going to be the Puck because she's got that Aeon disc, but, you know, you've got Astral's Death, you've got Rolling Thunder, you've got Finger of Death. Something needs to die. Go past. There's a Rolling Thunder, but they're instantly going to be able to melt through the Lion thanks to the Dagon roll. It does absolutely nothing here as the Roar controls him. But to build, charging up the damage with the BKB metamorphosis. The buyback's going to come through. Dark Willow actually wants to rejoin them. They know how strong they are right now, and they want to put Neon in the grave. Continuing to utilize this extra advantage they have from Roche. And the metamorphosis, no, it's got about two-thirds duration left. So honestly, LGD, if they just want to reset, they can definitely do that. They don't even care, though, because reading... They can offer nothing. I mean, it's a nice stun on Puck, who was just about to jump in, but it's just space created. His army dealing with the barracks won't be able to bring them down successfully. They're still sticking this around. Whoa, okay. Bye bye, Terror Blade. Bye bye, Neon. I mean, do you really want to stick around? No metamorphosis. There's no way you come back in this. PSG, LGD. And there we go. They call quits. The G's are dropped, and the China powerhouse too strong for Neon. Clinical though, absolutely clinical. I mean, you could deal with a lot of the, the things that have cheesed you throughout. The health burn level one with the Arctic burn, the blade fury magic damage is a lot as well. You could have the rapid though. handle. Yeah, Shin Q might end up giving away first blood, tries to play around with the fairy fire attempt, but. The one time that Neon isn't the one to pause the game as well, looks like the mouse issues have finally been solved, but. <laughs> Not too long, of course, coming from these stupid field. He's in a little bit of a vulnerable position here, being caught that he in. Is. Nice use of the shards here to lock him in place. Great play from the Tusk, and why? It's going to help out with Faith Beyond, who will get the kill. Do. Oh, Debil. All the time, though. Oh, oh Debil. Another perfect shard from Y. Locks any attempt of an escape route there from the Troll Warlord. Now with all the heroes showing down bot, they're going to try and get a nice pick off on Arme. Sogonor will be able to get the kill. Resigns himself to his fate. Well, they have not been able to slow down Arme. A lot of teams have not been able to slow down Arme that we've seen so far today. But a kill early on in the lane. Here's the OGD with that information. Going to try and tie the older Titan. But ET's got a decent amount of damage with the actual plus 108 at the moment. Why well, protected with the snowball for a little while, but that will still cost him his life there. And you kind of feel like they need to be, you know, they've got the tusk, they've got the ability to make the rotations, they've been having a couple of successful ones. Oh, they actually find out Ame once more. Yeah, that ward on the higher gum. This has been a little bit better of a game here from, from Neon. I don't think they're going to want to commit it just to kill Jiao. Dream call is going to be enough for him. So a quick kill. I mean, they've got the bounties coming up in about 15 seconds. So we'll see how LGD are going to continue to posture. But it's why that has some reinforcements coming down. They're too far away. The tier 1 mid and tier 1 bot is pretty much dead middle. So the help a little bit too slow there. But they will at least have two heroes by the bounty. And Rapid's actually going to move on forward straight into two ultimates. A silence prevent any Ravage opportunity. He's got it up and ready and available, but there is absolutely no backup to make it worthwhile for himself. As meanwhile, Shin Q will still drop. Yopaj finds a nice kill. Oh, with his Mass Serpent Wards, unless he gets caught out here by Innocence. Not even might. Bit uncharacteristic so far this game from Innocence, missing the shot. He's done an incredible job to lock them in. I may come forward. Wait, is that going to be enough? The Serpent Wards are doing a lot of damage and get rid of the healing ward as well. The last it is. I don't need to join the rest of his team though. It's pointless having this item that allows you to survive if you're not Ooh, surviving. Not again. Oh, Arme, Arme. This time, Neon have his number. Three deaths here, but a quick jump in. Nothing to say. Wants a little bit of revenge. Nice jaunt away. He's locked in two with the coil. And they've got the extra control as well with the dance for it. Spirit's about to expire here. Your Paj Astral Step, unfortunately, still on cooldown. As Neon will lose two for the kill on Arme. Make it a third as well. Shin Q just in the nick of time to be able to cancel wrap his TP with the Winter's Curse. So tired. I mean, TP is coming over, but he, they're going to bring him down and ET even face checks as well. The bill is showing up, but very low. what can the troll wall really do at the moment? One more smackdown. He's got so much damage, plus 251 for Januel that now expires. And unfortunately, triple kill for Faith Beyond. 
time they've done it, they've been able to get a kill onto the chug. Mid lane, DP. It's a big kill if they can bring down Faith Beyond. They might have to commit the Ravage for it. Faith Beyond's got to back the call. Now with the silence, Correct. actually stops the Ravage from coming through. And now with the call brace as well. Shin Q is required here to drop the curse. Ravage, nice. massive oh, Ravage onto three with a combination of the Elder Titan and Ultimate. But the Winter's Curse now disrupting the Snowball forward as well. Faith Beyond still alive and another silence, man. LGD turn it around. They find three. And on Nikon have to retreat away, but they've got the cash. Joe Parge has still got another yours available. His own yours actually use it aggressively on top of Y. A follow-up chance once again. The story of that team fight there. They've got a bit deep those to build. Gets a nice route. They're gonna drag back. The yeah, Furion has he overstepped a bit too far. Fed to be on two seconds for another use of the your scepter. Resident Pulse just out of range. And now Faith Beyond gets away. It all started with them trying to bring down the Death Prophet. And somehow Faith Beyond makes it away with his life. To have the initial burst. Is he going to be really quick on his fingers? We might be seeing a full that ward. Blink committed. Nice blink. And a double Astra step to close the distance. They're off on the initial they jump with the Astra. It will not matter. Understanding. So the Bill's doing pretty good job of keeping up in the farm once again like we saw in that game one mid lane ravage ravage gonna get committed along with the earth's gonna fall up as well dropping so forth everything oh. dropped on Arme, and this time there is no answers that lgd are able to dish out here curse not available well he's got it up but he wasn't able to pop it there fast enough and neither was the snowball why oh. nice attempt with the shards tp out get the uh, secondary eighth remnant off into the trees faith beyond They're actually committing this exorcism well, Pox nearby, nothing to save. Look at the Dagon Burst potential as well. Faith Beyond now protected with the Ewer Scepter. Still hasn't used many Spirit Siphon charges. And that's bad. actually going to cost him his life there. 492 gold given over to Debeel. Top side, they're trying to contest it a little bit here with Y. Careful. It's Tim on his own. No coming. It's so irradiant. Shards actually Not overshot that one. But it gets the curse on... Two, Radiant, they don't have the TPs just yet, but the numbers now Dagon finds one. A secondary target getting hunted from the Shaman. The answers are finally coming through with the rotations from Neon. They'll bring the boys and punish the deep attempt there from the Tuscar. Prematurely popping the Omni Slash, but you also don't want to not get it off in a team fight and such a call on this chain lockdown. There's the, uh, next, the Exo. Coil, drop, sounds. No, it's on the Tide Hunter as well. He can't get the Ravage off this time. Too late for the protection, that sounds way too long here for Rappi to stand his ground. And he's also going to end up joining the troll in the afterlife. Another attempt with a counter. Healing ward as well. And they do it in 30 seconds. Uh, this Elder Titan is going to be able to prevent a lot of it. Go for the stop here, just to try and delay things, put a little bit of fear into them. <laughs> nice snowboard dodge, but like who they got the catch on. Shin Q, Serpent once does get committed. Repage doesn't have to force too much out of it. Now the Earth split up. Again, space. That's all they need. Tides back up. Ravage available. Dive got very good vision on the high gun still around that secret shop. Man sleep. Jump in. Nothing to say. Oh, bye bye, Shaman. Just ripped apart here. Ages of the mortal now in the hands of Arme. Nothing to say, though. He's going to get caught out. He does have the Aang on disc, though. Freshly picked up. See if this is going to be required to get propped in. It will, but now everything committed. Ravage, Echo Slump as well, but he's still out of there. Oh, that's not what you want to see. Yeah, it's going to be super difficult for the Troll Wallet to actually not get kited in these fights. X is pop. Pose just on one with a curse. That finds more heroes onto two. It's Troll just shreds apart his own teammate. Neon losing couple to start, and they're even going to lose more as well as Faith Beyond can just charge up unrelentlessly. Three end up losing their life. And look at the map control they currently have around the top to mid area as well. Bill? What is this movement? Apart from Faith Beyond, the rest of the team going to be so slow to get there. BKB is well used for Debil. But no battle. And now they see the rest of Radiant. They're outside the base and they want to punish. Nothing to say. He's got Coil. Blink up in five seconds for the shot. The only escape route is blocked off from by. At least everyone else will get away but Genuel. 
They're just gonna burn Kim down with the AoE damage and that they will do. As the build's still sticking around, they get the call on the Void Spirit. It was showing in the river. Why can he get any control off before the dissimulate? He cannot. But he still jumps over straight to the hands of Faith Beyond. As Silence is there, set up for the follow-up. Had to get one in. Well, there they go. Yeah, we haven't been saying too many punts. They are really far away from the team. You see he's got a... Oh, Rappi. Dropping the Ravage, but a quick BKB from Faith Beyond. Now with the counter up. Yopa just got an extra silence. But the, nicely done as well. Controlling up the Winter Wyvern. So there's no curse factor. The build. Battle Trance. BKB pop, but is unable to lock in Arme. Thanks to the shot. He's moving incredibly fast. Now with the BKB over. Along with the ultimate. The build. They just chuck everything. Juggernaut instantly evaporates the troll. Warlord. No buybacks available. He's found the target of Rappi as well. He's able to blink after the curse. But Arme can continue hunting as meanwhile inside the base fate beyond along with nothing to say they gone out void spirit protected for a little while but it's still gonna actually make it back inside the fountain as all in all it's a two for one but it's a big target getting rid of the, the troll warlord and now they make it a third as well it's a two for one but it's a two and five troll warlord oh, that's a big here uh, you're going for that a little bit of extra kill and they had everything off this wrap through nothing to say Nash is the face shift. Just trying to burst down the Shadow Charm and Nicole getting popped is going to be able to do so successfully. Outside the base, Yopaj trying to disrupt the Winter Wyvern backline. Rappi at least gets a TP away, so they still have the Tide Hunter to be able to utilize for this fight. But now, once again, the Cohen embrace. Shinq, perfect position. He's even going to blink forward and now drop the ultimate. Rappi, there we go. With the Ravage, finding three. They deal with the Winter Wyvern, but still, Arme, ready to rock and roll. He's got the Aegis, the Quick Sans, gets rid of the Shackles here. And on Neon, they've blown everything. To build BKP, Battle Trance, but they can't even outside the base. The Aegis is going to get the stick down here. Yopaj is still in fighting condition. Snowball defensively. Echo Stomp. Nice combination here. Remnant as well, but Yopaj, he's going to be careful. Astral Step still available. Gets it to simulate back to safety here. And now down to the western side. Actually, nothing to say he's going to get caught out. But a quick phase shift once again. Playing with fire right now, OGD. Everyone's still alive in this game. Because you're not going to kill the jug to start the fight if there's a Wyvern and Toss to prevent that. And what's the deal? He doesn't have that factor. He's got no defensive support, so he's just going to end up falling. He's got a buyback available, but OGD, they barely committed anything for that. You're gonna have to buy back. If you don't buy back, you, you're losing Megas. May as well do it now, my good sir, and he will indeed. TP straight in front of them. Nothing to say, but a quick sign to prevent the Shaman lockdown, so it allows PSG LGD to reset. And now with the Rabbit once again! Rabbit fight three with the Earth Butter. Is this the fight they're looking for here? Junk gets melted. The Snowball caught Embrace a little bit too late. LGD, though, still able to turn. Finally, the curse is going to come through from GNQ. Troll Wall is able to kill off his own teammate, but he still wants to take the battle straight to them. As GNQ bashed up, will fall. But it's all or nothing to say. End Death Rock. Profit, as they're still sticking around, actually pushing Radiant back inside the base. It's such a heavy price to pay though. You know, you've still got the last few seconds of this exorcism, only the range tracks left. You force the buyback and well, that's team? gonna be made. Team is about to get Megas. Yeah. What? Dagon. Bye bye, Tide Hunter. Your punch gets a nice sound. Is there any extra control? Coil on two to build. Doesn't have a way to get rid of the coil stun. It's just going to move on forward without BKB or Battle Trance. Moving over to the one for the tournament instead of the support. Do you think that's playing a, a bit of an issue? Because we're seeing, oh, actually at the moment. We're not wow. seeing Yopaj. He's yeah, we are. He's up in the not air. Not at that. all. Buyback on Yopaj forced out. But Faith Beyond does not care. Moving up on forward. Level up now in their hands as well. They're buying up whatever items they can get for the defense. The build desolator. The exorcism ghosts dealing with the tier 4 tower. They're going to try and commit heavily here. Nice counter on the back line as well. They're going to try and deal with the support. So Meanwhile, but it will not matter. Faith Beyond is too tanky for this. The initial jump is all for naught here as they're both stuck inside the surf points. Meanwhile, Arme able to deal with the back line key. Shaman dropped. ET is able to buy back, but they're just going to call it. There's there absolutely is. nothing Neon can do. And PSG LGD will take this series here 2-0 in incredibly convincing fashion. Right on the 40-minute mark as well. Very nice.